Hi, everybody. Welcome to another Easy Links Live. I'm your host, Ryan Buchanan. On today's show, today we're going to be talking about some of the really cool items that came out in our last, our Q3 release. Now, for those of you who are able to join us at AppliedNet, these are some of the cool features that you got to see the product team demo and talk about during the conference. Those of you who weren't able to attend, we still wanted to be able to show you some of the really cool features that we'd put out back in Q3. So the first thing that we want to look at today is some automation that we have built around checklists with respect to tasks. So for those of you who aren't aware, checklists are this amazing component that basically can be added into a task if you want, say, things done in a certain order. Like every time a claim come in, I want X, Y, Z to happen, right? You can build a checklist attach that into the task, assign it out to somebody, and then in order for them to complete the task, they have to complete the checklist item. Now, this is amazing to help drive best practices at your agency, and at the same time, help kind of further some of your SOPs. So we built some automation around that. So let's go ahead and get into EasyLinks real quick here and show you guys some of the automation with respect to checklists and when a checklist is completed. All right, so one of the cool things that we've now unveiled is the ability for you to be able to generate a workflow and have it fire off when a checklist inside a task is completed. So for example, save us some time in the setup. We've already set up one right here for our claims checklist. If we go ahead and come in, we can already see that the, tech, uh, the task is completed. Come down to our, uh, our filters. We've added the filter, the checklist, because that's the thing we want it to fire on not just when any random task is completed, but specifically one with a checklist, and we've selected the checklist that we actually want to have, uh, want to have a go to. Um, if we edit here, we can actually see, here's gonna be the note that we're gonna have it create. It's gonna go to the CSR. It's gonna be due that day at 5 p.m. So if we go ahead and leave, and we go into an, a customer's account real quick, here we go, our test account here. We can see that we have a current task, uh, and this is what the CSR is currently working, and that task does have some checklist items in it, you know, gather uh, claim details, uh, turn on the claim into an insurance carrier, follow up with the adjuster, some general stuff that you would expect from a uh, SOP standpoint from somebody trying to work a claim. We're just going to go ahead and complete all this stuff off to show the workflow fire. So let's just put in completed, all right, and let's mark it as complete and go ahead and save. So what's gonna happen now is it's gonna actually fire off that workflow because we've now completed the task that does have a checklist with it. So if we refresh our page here, boom, we have that task that's due today. If we dig into it, we can see that it's assigned out to the CSR, right? And there's your due date and time. It's due by 5 p.m. So we're, uh, this is now gonna be able to, uh, you can now build workflows and have them fire off of your, your, your tasks that have checklists associated to them. Another cool thing that we had come out here in Q3 is our new business classification or some updates that we made with respect to our commercial applicants. You can now set the business classification right there when you're creating your applicant details. That way, when you jump into the application, all of this stuff is going to migrate over. This is a huge, huge win for a lot of our commercial customers. I know you guys have been asking for this. So let's get EasyLinks pulled up real quick and take a look. All right, one of the things that we've just added into the system, or at least put more in the forefront, uh, on our commercial accounts, if you actually go into the details, you now have the ability to look up your business classification. So for example, let's go ahead and let's try this. This is a brewery. Go ahead and find them right there. Here we go. And you can see that we have our NAICS code, our SIC, nature of the business, and then the description. It gets filled in for you. Uh, once you actually search and locate the code that you want. And this is great if you're going to be doing any kind of commercial quoting or working in submission center or generating applications. It finds the right code for you and gets all the necessary data actually put into the system on your commercial account. As of Q3, you're also able to now to perform the personal package policy seek. Now, this is something that you used to be able to do with monolines with respect to, say, your auto and your home. Now, we've given you guys the ability to be able to do it with your personal packages. So once again, head back into EasyLinks and take a look. So here on our demo account, what we can see is we have our personal package and the same great functionality that you get when you have your mono lines, whether it's an auto or a home, uh, and you would be able to sync your application data with the policy data. We now allow you to do that for your packages. So for example, if I was to come in here and select the action options and go down here to where it says other, I can go to sync the auto or the home. You do have to sync them individually, but let's just go in for the sake of this and let's try to sync the auto. This is a very familiar look. Everybody's seen this before. This is where it shows you the differences between, say, what's in the application and what's in the actual policy. So for this one, for example, 
uh, Charlotte Patrick here purchased a new car. So if we look, we can see what's the car that she had. Here's the brand new car that she got, which is why her premium went up. So if you wanted to sync that data, what we're letting you know here is that this will be the data that's retained in that package. So if we go ahead and hit save, it's going to actually utilize that so that when you go back in and you rerun your rates and you try to get maybe a, maybe a different quote for, you're going to be able to use the most up-to-date information that came in from the policy versus the old app, uh, application data that was stored in the system previously. Our next item that came out in Q3 got a ton of buzz at AppliedNet this year. It's our new feature to be able to do quote by text. That's right. If you want to be able to run an auto quote through a text message with your prospects, you now have the ability to do that inside of EasyLinks. This is really, 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 really big. Um, it, not only can you, can you run auto quotes, but you can also leverage it for lead generation. So what I'd like to do real quick is I'd like to pull up a simulator and I'd like to show you guys how the quote by text actually interacts. So we're going to send some messages to it and we're going to see the responses that come back and then be able to see the quote. This is, this is really, really neat and it got a ton of excitement at AppliedNet. So let's get this pulled up real quick. All right, something that we're really, really excited to bring everybody is this new feature that we'd like to call quote by text. Now, now, as you can see here, we're typing out a text message. This is actually coming from the insured or the prospect to the agency, right? Complete coverage is the agency here. Uh, and I'm just going to type in, you know, a fake information, like a, like a name here. It's going to start to ask me my age, right? I'm giving that information. What this is doing is it's pulling out templates that we have in our system, right? Now, this is specifically for auto, personal lines, auto quoting, okay? So if you're an agency, and you want to maybe try to drum up some business, how this would be utilized is you probably develop an email campaign for prospects, send this out to them and, and give them uh, the phone number and say, text this word to this number, right? And get a quote from us. So as we're progressing through this, see, it's asked me, what's my address, you know, your gender. And this is also going to be leveraging um, uh, integration that we have with Fenris. Fenris is going to be doing actually the vehicle lookup it's going to look up the vehicle. It's going to look up the driver information. It will ask you to kind of, uh, as, a, as a prospect, put in your email address. And at the same time it's doing this, at the same time we're providing all these details here in this text message, it's going to actually go into a system. It's going to create the customer's account for you, right? So you're not having to actually go out and do any kind of any lead capture or anything like that. It, it's capturing this stuff and it'll put it into the system right there. We asked if it was okay if we ran this report. To get some information about you, we said yes. So, of course, it came back here with the drivers. This was the lookup, the service that we have running at EasyLinks. It's going to look up the driver information for this prospect. They're just going to reply back, you know, yeah, these are the drivers that I have. This is the, these are them. And then these are the vehicles that I am interested in getting covered in this auto quote, right? So, you're going to be able to put in the vehicles one, two, or one, two, three, depending on the number of vehicles. And what this is doing right now is right now we're reaching out to carriers and we're actually taking this information along with some templates that you guys have filled out, okay? And we're running the rate. We're getting the rates. And when it comes back, what you're going to see here is going to be the, the best three quotes. So let's say you quoted six carriers, right? And that's how many you quote in the system. Only the best three are going to show up in this response. So when I get the response back from this agency as a prospect, I'm going to see the best three options, and that's based off of basically the premium. Who are the three cheapest ones? So this is a great way to be able to get that kind of conversation going, get everything started so that you can already have them calling in. As we can see right here, we have our actual three best quotes, right? So for example, we've got a quote right there, six-month basic coverage from test vendor, our test vendor. We also have Safeco. We have Travelers, and these, of course, are just fictitious, you know, results that came back through our system. But it did take that information, right, that I typed in, right, my name, my address, gender. I, I agreed to do a lookup service to find the drivers in the household, the vehicles. It shot all that stuff off along with some of the, the pre-covered template values that you guys have in our system. And then it came back with an actual quote result. So this is, this is what we're happy to bring to you guys. It's, it's quote by texting. It's for your auto personal lines quotes. So there you have it, uh, quote by text. Now, for those of you who were able to attend AppliedNet, 
Uh, this is a feature that is in beta, so one of the things that we are doing is we are turning it on this week and over the next two weeks for everybody who is at AppliedNet. So this is going to be something that's coming onto your accounts. You guys are going to be able to interact with it. If you weren't able to be at AppliedNet and you're interested in this, yeah, just reach out to us. We can uh, take a look at who we can actually get signed up for this. So really big feature. We're really excited to get people out there using this thing. Uh, and I think it's going to hu provide huge benefits to agencies. Uh, to be able to help get some additional business in the door. So the final thing that we want to talk about today is going to be some additional enhancements that we made to the underwriting functionality. We improved a couple of the workflows to make the writing, uh, underwriting process a little bit easier, right? So let's jump back into EasyLinks here and let's take a look at some of these underwriting enhancements. So we have some really great enhancements that we've been able to make uh, this release just recently for uh, underwriting and all of our alliance partners out there to make it a little bit more efficient when working in the system and, and managing the communications back and forth from an underwriting standpoint. One thing we did is we made the underwriter field here, right, in our test account, mandatory. Uh, it used to be that you could remove the underwriter and, and not have to have a name here, but the problem was is that there was no assignment of the account to anybody. There was no retention of that. So we've made this a mandatory field to kind of cut down on that confusion that used to be there. The second thing that we've done is we were actually being able to sync the information here that you enter in inside the underwriting uh, workflow back to the application. So if you were to come in here and update the driver's license number or update the VIN, whatever you update here actually will sync back to the application. That way, you don't actually have to go back in afterwards and re-enter stuff that you've entered here. It saves you a whole lot of time. Another thing that we've done is we updated our message box right here. Previously, we only had about two lines of text that would display. And one of the things that we've noticed is that some of the messages can be a little lengthy, you know, back and forth between the underwriter. Uh, you can have a lot of detail that you need in there. And the problem was is that you'd have to scroll in this little box to see things. So what we've done is we now expand the messaging box as you type, right? This will make it easier for you. So as you can see more of the information in there without actually having to scroll. So there you have it. There are some of the really cool features that we had come out here in our Q3 release. Uh, those of you who attended AppliedNet, you guys were able to see some of those things. And we really do want to thank everybody for taking time out of your busy schedule to come out, meet with the product team at AppliedNet. We had some really great conversations with agents, uh, and it was extremely valuable to the product team. It's one of the highlights of our year. We love it being able to talk to agents, especially at that big user conference. So thank you, everybody who came out. Uh, that's all the time we have uh, for this month. Uh, until next time, uh, we'll see you all next time. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye.